Christina De La Garza here with Inside Pool Extreme News. We are at the Horseshoe Casino, the new site of the Derby City Classic in Southern Indiana. Joining me is last year's second place winner of the bank event, Silver Ochoa from Texas. Thanks for joining us. No problem. <laughs> All right, you uh, did great last year and you're known as a one pocket player, so banks obviously, you know, follows naturally with that. Uh, how are you doing so far this year? Uh, I'm going into the fifth round still undefeated so it's going well I mean but everybody banks really well so yeah. it's tough. Do you have a lot of experience on the diamond tables? A lot of people don't or not a lot of people but some of them don't play as much on the diamonds and they, they tend to bank a little bit differently than yeah. some of the other tables. Yeah I really like I've adjusted a lot so it's not too bad I really just play on diamonds when I'm out of town like the US Open and stuff like that in here but it's it's been going really well. Great. So. Um, what are your goals for this Derby City? And are you planning on staying in action more? Are you trying to do well in the the, tur the tournaments? Well, the bank pool tournament, I really want to do well in because I feel like I could. So we'll see what happens after the bank pool tournament, and um, I don't know. I'll probably be matching up. Okay. Um, what other titles do you have? I know that you play on some of the regional tours, and you you've gone to some of the bigger tournaments around the country. Um, and like I said, you're known well as a one pocket player. Uh, what other titles do you have? I've won a lot of the Fast Eddie Tour tournaments that, you know, Charlie Bryant, Jeremy Jones playing a lot. Um, that's really it. I mean, I've done well in other tournaments, but I don't know. I think something that I did well, you know, I got ninth in 05 in the U.S. Open, but that's pretty much it when it comes to tournaments. Okay. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't who don't know a lot about you would, didn't know that you started as a juniors player. Um, what does it take for a juniors player? You know, we see a lot of the juniors players come through and kind of die out or do, do other things, but um, there's a handful of you that are still around. What did you do to stay involved in pool and, you know, what are your goals with it? Where, you, where would you like to go with it? Well, I mainly stayed involved because I just, uh, I, like, I would hate losing. So <laughs> when I would lose, I'd just go back home and, you know, play a lot. And, I don't know. I think that's why I've gotten so play, gotten to play so well so fast is because I would just always be in action and always lose. And you learn from you learn more when you lose than when you win. So, um, do you have any new projects coming up or anything else you want to talk about that where people might want to be able to check you out? Yeah, um, there's this movie that's coming out this year. Uh, we've been working on it all year in 08, so hopefully it pays all that hard work pays off. It's called uh, Pool Hall Master, and you know Gabe Bowen's in it. Charlie, uh, uh, no. Gabe Bowen's in it. Corey Duell's in it. A lot of girl players, you know Heather Lloyd, Heather Pulford, a lot of really good pool, uh, pool players are in it. And, and how, how did that come about? I know they've been doing a lot of the filming in Texas because I'm from there, so I've you know I've, I've heard a lot, a lot about it. But what was how did that come about to be? created and, and whose idea was that? Uh, well, Joe Santos from San Antonio, he just asked me out of the blue at a tournament. Uh, he was like, look, I, you know, I, I've been kind of seeing how you play and stuff and it, you'd be perfect for this part. I'm writing a movie and I was like, okay, whatever. And two weeks later, I had to go back to San Antonio and he brought me the script and I was like, wow, I guess this guy's serious. So fi that was like maybe a year and a half ago. And then so we, once we started working on it, it, it would kind of flow pretty well. So okay. it's a one pocket movie. So uh, it, it's, it's got a lot of playing in it, you know? And I, I think it's gonna turn out good. He shows clips at some of the Fast City tournaments and uh, you know, it, I haven't seen him. I don't wanna see him, you know, I don't wanna, I don't so know. So you haven't seen the finished product no. yet or anything? No, well, he's still editing it, but he's still, he has clips of, you know, so many parts of the movie. I'm like, don't show the whole thing, you know? <laughs> but it's, a, it's okay, it's good. And do you know how anyone can get a hold of the movie once it's out? Uh, poolhallmaster.com, uh, we have a, our website up, uh, AZ Billiards, it's, uh, is really helping out with promoting the movie, Good. and, uh, I don't know, I think it's going to do really well. Great. Uh, what do you have up next after this tournament? Anything big coming up? Uh, tournament in San Antonio, Fast City tournament, so. Well, thank you for joining us, and good luck in the rest of the tournament. Awesome, thanks. thanks. Christina De La Garza with Inside Pool Extreme News. Be sure to check out InsidePoolMag.com for more news and videos.